Uh, we're going to begin with the latest on that Philadelphia building collapse where the investigation is focusing on one of the team of demolition workers that was tearing down that building when it suddenly gave way. Police sources say the man was on drugs at the time. Authorities are preparing to charge the man who was operating the demolition crane when the building collapsed Wednesday morning, killing six people and injuring 14 others. Sources tell ABC News that 42-year-old Sean Benshop will face manslaughter charges. He admitted to operating the crane after taking codeine and other prescription drugs, according to those sources. Marijuana was also found in Benshop's system after a toxicology exam, police sources said. According to the Philadelphia Inquirer, Benshop has been convicted 16 times of traffic offenses since 2006, mostly for driving without a license or insurance and for operating unregistered vehicles. Philadelphia Mayor Michael Nutter vowed that investigators would find out what caused the four-story building to collapse and fall onto an adjacent Salvation Army thrift shop. I want to first apologize to the victims and their families, to the survivors and their families for what happened in our great city on Wednesday. Nutter also paid tribute to the civilians who rushed to help rescue survivors just minutes after that building collapse. I want to thank again our first responders and the first responder Philadelphians, citizens, who stepped into harm's way Wednesday morning. And city inspectors are now checking every demolition site in Philadelphia for possible safety violations.